y'all and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. My name is Lilith and for today's video we're going to make healthy donuts. Healthy-ish. Eh. They're way healthier than regular donuts. Who am I kidding? We're going to use these cute little donut pans that I got for Christmas. I haven't gotten to use them yet so I'm going to be testing these pans out as well as this healthy donut recipe with you guys today. Not really sure how it's going to turn out but we're going to find out. Actually, only gonna use one of these pans today because this recipe only makes six donuts, and let's be honest, I really don't need a ton of donuts in my house. So I'm going to grab the ingredients and we'll get started. Okay, so for this recipe, you're going to need whole wheat pastry flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt, agave, nut butter, plant milk, and vanilla extract, and a ripe banana. And then for our toppings today, I'm going to make a chocolate sauce out of agave and cocoa powder, and then I'm going to sprinkle some chopped nuts on it. I'm probably going to toast these in the oven for a second, but I just have them but I just have them chopped up here, ready to go. I'm also going to set this silicone donut pan on the actual pan so that, like, you know, it doesn't flip flop everywhere in the oven. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is mash up this banana with a fork once I have that banana fairly well mashed up I am going to whisk in all of my wet ingredients so that's my milk my vanilla agave and my nut butter Sorry, did I say agave? My maple syrup? Got agave on my mind. into my flour. You could also use a one-to-one -one gluten free flour or you could use oat flour or some other type of flour if you wanted to make this recipe gluten free. I'm just using whole wheat pastry flour today. I'm going to add those dry ingredients, give that a whisk, Try not to make a mess. <laughs> and now you have a choice. You can either scoop this directly into your donut pan or you can get a pastry bag and squeeze it into the donut, squeeze it evenly into the donut pan I'm going to go ahead and grab one of those. You can also use a Ziploc bag and cut the corner out of it. Or even you or you could even use a funnel and scoop it into the funnel and move the funnel around. That could work as well. Okay. And with this you can make the hole fairly well big. I'm just gonna 
that it's a bit more even. And I have my oven set at 350. I'm gonna pop them in there for about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes until a toothpick inserted in comes out clean. And then we're gonna, I'll come back here and we're gonna make our chocolate frosting. And once they're done and cooled, dip them, sprinkle them. It's gonna be delicious. While my donuts are baking, I'm just going to pop a pan in there with my nuts. I'm using pecans, but you can use any type of nut. We just have a lot of pecans on, on hand because there is a pecan farmer at our farmer's market, and he's really cool, and we always get really nice stuff from him. That's a little better. I'm just gonna spread this out, pop it in the oven until it smells toasty. Definitely wash it and make sure it doesn't get over toasted. That can happen very quickly. And for our, our chocolate frosting, all I'm gonna do is mix this agave with my cocoa powder. until it is the right consistency. If it's still too thick, I'll add a little bit more agave. If it's too thin, I'll add a little bit more chocolate, a little bit more cocoa powder. It's gonna look really, really dry for a while. So don't add any more agave until you really have it mixed together into a paste. sauce. You can use this on ice cream too. It doesn't have to be just these donuts. I even will use this and mix it into a glass of plant milk to make chocolate milk or hot chocolate. All right, I'll meet you back here when the donuts come out of the oven to frost them. Okay, the donuts are done. They've been sitting out to cool for a little bit and now I'm going to get ready to frost them. First, I have to pop them out. I didn't want to add any extra oil, so it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to pop them out, but that's why we have the silicone pan to make it easier. One of these is kind of falling apart. Oh, well, it'll still taste good. And they kind of <laughs> exploded a lot more than I expected them to. I could have made probably one more whole donut. But we know for next time to not fill the donut pan so much. They smell really, really nice. Here is our pan with our toasted nuts. Very nice. Since that one's kind of falling apart, I'm not gonna frost it. We're just gonna leave that one setting aside. So this is the first time I've tried this recipe. First time I've ever made donuts at home. Since I just got that donut pan and I think next time I'm gonna try and add a flax egg just to hold it together because a couple of these are falling apart a little more than I would like. And a flax egg would be really helpful to bind it. A little more than that banana did. Okay. Oh, 
homemade healthy donuts. Woo, gotta take a picture of these. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed these donuts. Actually, you know what? You know what we haven't done yet? We haven't gotten there and done a taste test. Let's, let's do this. I'm sorry. I love cake donuts. Regular donuts, they're good, they're okay, they're fine, whatever. Cake donuts are where it's at. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell so you never miss a delicious recipe. And I will see y'all next time. Hope you enjoyed this first recipe into the new year, starting off with a healthier version of the things that you might be craving to keep you on track this year. And I will see y'all next time. I'm the Vegan Rainbow. Bye y'all.